Pravega brings to you Let's Talk Science. Join us as Professor P.S. Anil Kumar of the Indian Institute of Science discusses his views of the science scenario in India. Professor Anil has done significant research in spintronics, magnetic films in nanostructures, magnetotransport in metallic nanolayers and oxides, and spin transport in carbon and polymer structures. A common criticism is that government funds should first be used to improve Indian infrastructure and alleviate poverty before being allocated for scientific research. What complementary roles do scientific research, technology and development of infrastructure have to play in India? You cannot separate science and technology as two different things. So what technology which you are seeing today was a basic science 20 years back. So what science you are doing here today will be a technology 20 or 25 years later. So I would say that the science and technology all together is required to improve the quality of life uh, for the mankind as a whole. Uh, with a country like India where the population is so large, the quality of life can be improved only by technological means. So technological means mean uh, improved infrastructure, a better technology, so that that can cater to the need of larger section of the public. Why has no Indian scientist been awarded a Nobel Prize since 1930? Is Indian science lacking in quantity of researchers or quality of research? Uh, yeah, that's a very tricky question. In the last few decades, you can see that Indian science is producing reasonably good quality research where large number of scientists are involved. But to get into the next step, you, you need to create an ecosystem. Now, the, the kind of science that is happening around the world, of course, discoveries are coming through maybe serendipity or by concentrated efforts. When you talk about serendipity also, it is only for the prepared minds the serendipity comes and hits. So it's not hitting everywhere. But I would say that for the serendipity, the Indian scientists are also ready because they are also prepared well. So do you think we have enough infrastructure? I prepare a new sample, right? A student need to go and do, find out whether the sample has formed, this material has formed correctly. So what they generally call it as an X-ray diffraction, right? So physics department has got one X-ray diffractometer. 50 or students are working uh, on developing materials. So each of the student need to wait for sufficient long time to get to find out whether his sample has formed properly or not. Only after that input comes, he can go for the next sample or refine the sample or go for the next study. So altogether, there is a waiting for everyone, for the faculty, for the student, for everyone. I think we have to remove this waiting period. Then only things can go much faster. How do we get more people into science? How do we improve science education at the school and college levels across the country? I don't think that we need to get large number of people to science. Whoever is coming to science now is sufficient in number. So then comes to the quality. Of course, we have to improve the quality of science in the country. So this can happen when the students are trained better. So when the students are trained better, they become better scientists and they become better teachers. And then they train the next generation in a better way. What's your opinion on brain drain from India? Yeah, I don't complain too much about the brain drain. An Indian brain is an Indian brain wherever it is. Imagine a student who is doing PhD in the best place in the world and he will do the postdoc in the best place in the world. Then he may have an offer for a faculty position in a, in a good university in US and a faculty position in a good place in India. So he has to weigh whether he should come back, whether he will have the right ecosystem or the infrastructure to nurture himself well and nurture others. So he will be weighing these options. And once he feels that or she feels that this option is bright, they will come back. So once they start coming back, I have no doubt that Indian science will excel like him. Thank you, Professor, for taking time out of a busy schedule for this discussion. Your valuable insight sure means a lot to us.